Hi YouTube, so welcome to my new tutorial. I was sick for more than a week, but now I'm almost better again. So it was time for me to do a new tutorial for you. And today I want to show you the velvet nail manicure. And I wasn't really sure um, if I was going to do this tutorial because sometimes I see the velvet manicure and I don't really like it. And sometimes I saw pictures and I was like, hmm, maybe this does look good. So the only way for me to find out if I really liked it was to order it myself and um, to try it out, of course. And what I've ordered is um, this one. And this is the flocking powder from Born Pretty Store. And what I've noticed is that I think it looks pretty classy if you use the darker color. So the black or the dark blue or the red one. Um, so that's why I do like it. But the lighter colors I don't really like that much. But of course that's my opinion. Um, so use whatever color that you like. Um, there are many colors uh, that you can choose from. And what you get is this uh, little jar with the flocking powder. And I've already dipped my nails. And as you can see, it's still full. So you only need a little bit and you can make many manicures with this. Also what you're getting is this sort of tweezer thing. So it's not an actual tweezer, but it looks like it. Um, you use this to apply the flocking powder onto your nail. And what I also got is this small brush. Um, this is what you use to remove the flocking powder that's on the on your skin. So this is really um, helpful. And what I also have is of course one nail polish. And use a polish that matches your flocking powder's color the most. So it doesn't have to be the exact po uh, color, um, but use one that's really close. And I'm using OPI Little Red Wagon. And those are the only things you need. So let's take a look at the tutorial. Make sure that you have a piece of paper underneath your nail because it's going to get a bit messy. I've already applied the polish one time. Now I'm going to apply the second layer and then apply the flocking powder. Make sure that you cover the whole nail. Now press the flocking powder onto your nail. Don't press too hard, but also don't do it too soft because otherwise it will fall off later. So press it hard enough so it will stick into the nail polish. When you're done, remove all the excess flocking powder with the brush. So we're not going to spill any flocking powder, so everything that's on the piece of paper, we can just put it back and just use it again next time. So when you're done with all your nails, this is the result. Do you like it? So for those who are wondering, yes, you can wash your hands and yes, you can still take a shower because I've tried it and the flocking powder stays on your nail perfectly when it's wet. It just looks a little bit weird, but um, it dries in a few minutes. So then it's back to normal again. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Bye bye.